Good day everybody, it's Christy from OK Keto. So today I'm gonna to make a strawberry mint truffle and this is how I'm gonna do it. I have a half an ounce of cream cheese I place in this little mixing bowl that is stainless steel. And when I plug in my Dash mini waffle iron to preheat, I just set it on top and let it melt my cream cheese for me. So again, a half an ounce. I have one large egg I brought up to room temperature and went ahead and whisked in this ramekin. Now you can take an egg and put it in a coffee mug with some warm water about five minutes before you're getting ready to start. And that should get your egg up to room temperature if you don't have enough time to place it on the counter ahead of time. Also going to use one tablespoon of coconut flour. One tablespoon of Swerve Confectioners. And strawberries. I'm going to use freeze dried strawberries. The Simply Balanced, I find this at Target, measuring out 4 grams, it brings it to 2.71 net carbs. Um, this is just freeze-dried strawberries, there's no sugar added to this brand. I will say, they also sell this at the Dollar Tree. It's also strawberries, it's the Fruit Crisp um, Brothers All Natural, there is nothing added to this either, it's just freeze-dried strawberries, so if, if you want to go the Dollar Tree route, you can. And strawberry extract, one fourth teaspoon I poured over top of my freeze dried strawberries about five minutes before I'm getting ready to start. And I'm gonna let my strawberries be the carrier for the strawberry extract. Because if you pour an extract or anything liquid directly into your egg mixture, it changes the consistency of it. Same with the egg. If your egg is not up to room temperature, it changes the consistency of it. And mint, pure mint extract, one eighth teaspoon I poured over top of the coconut flour again five minutes before I'm getting ready to start so that the coconut flour can be the carrier and it has time to dry up in the flour um, again I'm using one eighth teaspoon because I want it just a little bit of mint in there I don't want it to overpower but if you like an overpowering mint flavor and you really want it to have a nice kick do one fourth teaspoon so now let's get started again my dash has been plugged in and preheated and first I'm just going to go ahead and add my swerve confectioner and my strawberries I'm going to leave the coconut flour on the plate because coconut flour is very thirsty it's a very thirsty flour it absorbs really quick and I don't want it to do that quite yet. So I'm just gonna mix the strawberries and the Swerve Confectioner in with my cream cheese first. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in that A that I brought up to room temperature. I like to use a little rubber spatula to like get everything out of the bowl. Waste not, right? Now I'm just going to blend this really well, move this out of my way for a minute, and I'm going to press down on it as I'm mixing. To get that cream cheese really blended in there pretty good. Okay, you can see how runny this looks. Now we're going to go ahead and add in the coconut flour. And that is definitely going to solve that issue. You will see in a second. And that's also why I put the coconut flour in last. And now I'm just going to stir that. Blend it really well. We had these last night. It was so delicious. I like to add a little bit of the Swerve Confectioner on top when they're done. And some whipped topping. So good. I know I'm really going to enjoy this one when it comes spring and summer as well. And I will include the macros for this at the end of the recipe. Uh, I'm sorry, at the end of the video. But just keep in mind, that's if you're using all the same exact ingredients I'm using. I do recommend people calculate their own macros. But I will tell you what mine came to.
Okay. You can see thickened up real quick, right? So this mixture will make two. You don't want to over stir it. You don't want it to continue to soak up all that moisture. So half of my mixture will go into my waffle iron. And I like to use my little rubber spatula to spread it around because it is thick. And I want to cover all my little grates. And I'm going to close the lid. Now, because this has got coconut flour in it, as soon as this light goes off, this most likely is done. I've noticed that any recipe that I make for a chawaffle that has coconut flour in it, it bakes pretty quick. And as soon as that light goes off, I check it. And most times, like 99% of the time when it's got coconut flour in it, it is done. So once this one is done, I will take it out and I will place it on a cooling rack. Because if I set it directly on a plate, the heat coming from these will cause condensation and your truffle will get soggy. So I always place mine on a cooling rack. So when I have both of them made, I will come back and show you what they look like. Again, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the Swerve Confectioner on top of mine. I don't know yet if I'm feeling in the mood for some whipped topping on top, but I did add that last night. And I do have a recipe for homemade whipped topping. I will put down in the description box below if you're interested. If not, I mean, to be honest with you, the aerosol one that um, Walmart sells that's sugar-free is actually pretty good as well. So I will be back when uh, these are made. And here it is, plated up. It's so delicious. I've already taken three bites out of this before I hit that record button. But you know, when it's something's that good, it's that good. You just, you don't even care about recording. Um, I did add a little bit of the Swerve Confectioner on top. And then I was like, yeah, go ahead and add a little whipped cream. So a little whipped cream and a little bit of the strawberry dust as well. Um, this is going to be the bomb come summer and, or spring and summer. Um, it's in the middle of January and I'm enjoying this. It's really super refreshing. So if you give this a try, please let me know down in the comments below what you think about it. I have a whole playlist devoted to chaffles or if you know me, I call them chawaffles. That's why you hear that so much. Um, and it, it's kind of an inside joke that I just stuck with. This is what the inside looks like. I will take a close-up picture of it and insert it in the video for you. I really do hope you enjoy it. I sure did. Thank you so much again. See you next time. Bye.